But then guys, a little bit different than normal, no music. I hope you're all doing well. A little bit of a rant, a little bit of a opinion. And yeah, let's start the show. So, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're staying safe and you're staying isolated. I got a little bit of house cleaning now. Um, haven't been online for about a month. So, two things have gone on. And I'm going to wait it by you. Last video I done about the Warcry allies. I think it was the Mind Stealer Kitty. I got a copyright strike about my music. Even though I got it royalty free. I got a copyright strike. And I've been fighting that. And then on top of that. I've had family issues. So that I've had, had to sort out and yeah the world fell to shit for a couple of weeks haven't I, when uh, the pandemic started so I've been a little bit absent so I hope you can, will accept my apology on that but enough about me I um, I've had time to reflect on what I'm going to say I've had Time to sit back and see what I think, but just an opinion before I go into it. I don't want to offend anyone if uh, my opinion is different to yours. And I, I, the joy of doing this type of show is I ask for your opinion because I want to hear what other people are thinking because I like hearing what other people have to say about the matter. So I'm just going to get on with it now. We've had three um, GW online previews lately uh, saying about what's going on in the offices and planning departments of GW, what's coming to fruition, what's, what's going to be seen in the next couple of months after lockdowns lifted because they've quite rightly and I do agree with everything that they've done shut down everything Fa from factories to shop floors to head office everything has been shut down they have looked after their staff I like that but it was nice to see what they still had planned and it wasn't oh, they're going to hold back until events were going live again there's a lot of 40k stuff a lot of AOS stuff which I'm not going to go over in this video with the AOS stuff, I'm going to save that for another video. This is to do with the Blood Bowl. And yeah, it's just my opinion about where they want to take Blood Bowl at the moment. So uh, without further ado, let's just um, get a few pictures up. Right then, guys, of the three previews. Uh, we had two topics to come out today. One of them is a team, one of them is a big guy. Which, considering this is a box game by GW and it's not anything to do with Space Marines, I think we could call this a call this a win. But as a player who um, plays Blood Bowl majority of my hobby and time especially over the last two to three years I I feel a bit ripped off about this because I know GW could do better than what they did because we've seen some amazing sculpts over the last last ten years it's got even better and I'm not even going to get into like the mega gargans some of the details on them they were fantastic but first team to come out is a Snotland team, which yes, there's another team to be in tier three with us. Very interesting team because I can see there's a couple of bouncers because there's um we can see there's squigs being jumped on. We can see people on um, stilts. We've got a secret weapon that they've already made 
in the pump wagon it looks an interesting team and it's full of character very interesting considering like these are like tiny miniatures they're going to be fun and like they're probably going to have the same sat line as the ones in the ogre blood bowl team box which i believe was movement five strength two uh strength two agility two armor value five if i remember off the top of my head and i think they had the titchy rule instead of um stunty so they're going to be interesting but perhaps it's me but i couldn't see the sense in bringing out this type of team it was not something i believe blood bowl fans were calling out for to me this is something that could have been done a bit further down the line after a few of the other teams got a bit fleshed out because we've got quite a few teams don't get me wrong but we could have done with like amazons or we could have done with vampires we could have done with you know things of our nature we could have done with an updated chaos dwarf team for crying out loud is it having to do with the made to order one no th there was a, a few possibilities they could have done but they decided not to not to bother which i'm not in gw's headquarters i don't i don't talk to heads or anything like that so i don't know what their understanding is perhaps they're hoping that people in t the tier three bracket like myself who plays flings are having more fun and they want people to go down that road all well and good to them but they could have waked in on this one because i know it's these other teams that could have been fleshed out that has got more of a following than stop things but that being said they are amazing scouts so really what's your opinion on this do you think i'm being unjust do you think i'm being fair do you, do you agree that there could have been other models then ahead of time on this one let me know in the comments down below and now onto a model that quite frankly i think is disgusting i haven't seen anything this bad from ed let alone gw in years i just i find i don't know what it is i find this model offensive and i know there's going to be a lot of people going oh it's fine there's nothing wrong with it but I don't know what it is it just really grates on me personally it's perhaps it's me and me alone who thinks of it but if i if i think of a tree man i think of uh, something quite quite dominating on the pitch because you gotta remember you gotta start line of like strength movement two so you could you can imagine something quite big lumbering and strong this thing on the other hand looks like uh elf has left his stuff out on a tree and let shit grow around there and then got taken over by a goblin who wanted to play dress up as a tree it just I don't know what it is i just find it offensive to you know to actual miniatures that people want to play and if you want to play at a gw blood bowl event now and your halflings you've got to rock up with this type of thing because when they're in head office it's like it's got to be a gw mini it's got to be painted and you're gonna have to rock up with that and try and take that seriously as a strength strength six model the thing looks a little bit too i hate to say it agile as a tree man it doesn't come across as lumbering it doesn't come across as powerful it comes across as a joke and 
it's small it's in the video uh, of the preview of this they had it on the pitch with wood elves and i think this was the worst call they could have done they showed it a lot with halflings but then they started putting it with the wood elves because that's the other team that could take them but it didn't come across bigger than a wood elf this thing came across around about similar size excluding the branches veering off it came across as the same size as the wood elf models and i know they're all posed to be dancing and everything like that but it's not big it doesn't come across as big and powerful it comes across as something special i i dislike it and it's for every fiber of my beer dislikes this model and i know i've said something in in my opinion just now that people are going to find offensive because of the way i've described this and you're right you're right to have that opinion if you want you're right to agree with me but let's talk about it in the comments down below tell me what you think of this model perhaps you think i'm overreacting perhaps you don't see anything wrong with it perhaps you're redeemed by the squirrel in the tree let me know down below what you think or if you agree if you agree that this is trash but then what your, your favorite um tree man model is from another company because are you going to be honest with you i've looked on instagram i've seen people use sylvaneth tree lord ancients as tree man for blood bowl they've they've adapted the model and it looks 10 times better to me it looks menacing it looks like a powerhouse this thing doesn't i personally i really love my black scorpion miniature tree man even i i even got a wily miniatures um tree man for deep root and i think that's 10 times better than deep root itself and it's not and i'm gonna be honest i don't like the deep root model not the fact that it's like 50 piece model it just that doesn't look appealing to me either the aesthetic they've gone for with the tree man tree men and deep root i think is awful and i it doesn't show me current gw it, this is like gw 12 years ago i would have expected that from not something they could have chucked on card and you and you would see the amazing model they put out you look you would look at half the, the war cry stuff you look at the 40k stuff you look at the fact now that you know ford world have got to win you know they're doing primarchs gw now in 40k are bringing back the primarchs as well and they are amazing absolutely fantastic full of detail this thing on the other hand i would have expected to be done in pewter by a trainee so, but that's my opinion i'm probably wrong please let me know down below thank you for staying to the end of the video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy please leave a like if you didn't enjoy leave a dislike and tell us why but if you're a regular coming back for this type of content please subscribe to the channel because it does help us get found for we are a small channel and you know it's it would be nice to be you know in your subscribe in your subscription list you know living amongst the cool kids in your subscription list but that's down to you guys if uh, you don't want to subscribe and or if you're a subscriber please share these videos it does mean a lot to us we have twitter and instagram uh they will be down below but we showed the the tags at the beginning and what else is there i did promise a giveaway but we're going to wait till lockdown is over and there is going to be a side project on the go 
I will let you know once we've got it up and running, but I'm excited about this. A few extra people other than myself. So, when that comes about, I will let you know. Feel free to have a guess uh, in the comments. But, like I say in all my videos, I love reading your comments because part of the reason why I've done, done this channel is because I like to chat with people about different opinions and see if we can come to an agreement in the middle, see if we can open my eyes to um, things that I was closed off to, perhaps I look at a different way to you and you know we can you know have a bit of a melting pot when it comes to uh, the hobby so please enjoy we have got a discord server if you are interested we can be found uh i think it's hashtag noob station uh if you want to join us because we are going to start doing like hobby hangouts where we just chill we chat we just hobby not going to be nothing major but it's just something extra so stay safe be, uh, look after your family look after your friends and i shall see you in the next video take care then.